Well, finally got some uh, luck with uh, SRS software radio systems, their LTE implementation. Uh, there's a lot of parts in here, but just quickly, this is the uh, National Instruments Edis uh, B205 Mini. I uh, had to make some uh, changes in the software to get it to work with uh, external uh, 10 megahertz uh, radio uh, GPS reference signal that's running through here and the little tremble back there. And uh, according to these LEDs back here, we got it locked. I'm monitoring with the uh, uh, Lime SDR Mini. But this is the uh, transmit antennas, transmit antenna, receive antenna, and it is, if I look at the Lime SDR monitor, here's the kind of pedestal we have on band 7, I think it's band 7, and we're running the SRS EPC and the SRS E node B with the GUI, so it's giving us this nice little screen. And we're getting a regular signal noise ratio uplink, uh, looks around uh, 30, 30% 30 or uh, 30 units. But uh, I'm real happy this actually works. I finally found a, a handset that will connect. Uh, you have to use one of these uh, Sysmo car, Sysmocom uh, SIMs little micro sims, nano sims, uh, programmer, you have to master that. If we go into here, and we can watch videos over this now. So I'm watching uh, uh, a private 5G network on Kubernetes with uh, Raymond Knopp. Uh, so it's actually playing there. There's the monitor. And we're monitoring that with the, uh, here's the TCP dump of the interface, the gateway interface. So it's all working. I just got it going together today. Uh, it's taken quite a while to finally figure out one that works. But I'm real happy with that. So we can, we can build on that.